70E4A. And let's look at these. Fence forms a rectangle, uses 64 meters of fencing. If the width of the enclosed areas is 13 meters, what is the length? Okay, so fence forms a rectangle. So here's the fence, it forms a rectangle. If the width is 13, so this is 13, and if this side is 13, this other side is 13, what is the length? So we want to know what the length is. The length is here, and it is also here, because those will be the same. And the whole fence, it uses 64 meters. So this fence uses 64. We're not covering up the inside. The fence just goes around, so that's just perimeter. So if we add up all of these sides, we will get the perimeter. So let's just start here and go across. X plus 13 across the top plus X down the side plus 13. Yes, sir. When you add those up, you get 64. So X combined like terms, we have X and X. So we actually have 2X, 13 and 13, plus 26 equals 64. So now we just have an equation. So we're going to subtract 26 from both sides. These will cancel. Bring everything down. 2x equals 20 or 64 minus 26 is 38. And now to get x by itself, we divide by 2. And x equals 19. So this is 19 and the top is also 19. So 1 is a. Moving on to 2. What is the correct method of solving this equation? So for number 2, we can do x over 3 minus 6 equals 9. So it's not telling us to solve it. Just what do we do? So the first thing we would do here is add 6 to both sides. So which here tell us to add 6 to both sides? Just B and D so we can get rid of A and C. When we do that, bring everything down. X over 3 equals 15. Now what operation is X over 3? This would be divisions. So this is x divided by 3. <clears throat> to undo that, we need to multiply by 3. Again, we don't need to find the answer. It is 45. Um, but we add 6, and then we multiply by 3. So the answer to 2 is d.